All right, here we go. Godfrey, welcome back. What's up? Ha <laughs> ha. Always What's good to up? be back. You know me, god damn it, the troublemaker. Pow, 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 pow. <laughs> Nothing. That was stupid. Sorry. So you got your Cubs shirt on? Always representing Chicago, even though you know I love New York. I'm a New Yorker. Of course, been here mm -hmm. 18 years. But this is where I grew up, around Wrigley Field. You understand? Wrigley Field. High school, okay, I know you may not know this, but Lane Tech High School is the high school I went to, which is 15 minutes away from Wrigley Field. And WGN, which is a very, very famous station, is right across the street from my high school, Lane Tech High School. I represent Chicago. Got to. <laughs> Chi Town. Chi Town, boy. Up, Gangster. Buck out, buck out. See, everybody thinks everywhere you go, you get shot, which is bullshit. Hey, man, I love Chicago. Shout out to uh, Harold's Chicken Shack, one of Harold's my favorite Harold's Chicken, chicken which I don't know which store you went to, but there's a whole bunch of Harold's Chicken. And it's, yep. not, and it's really, this is when you know shit has changed, when a white dude is going, boy, shout out to Harold's Chicken. <laughs> 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 Harold's Chicken was a very, like, black, only black people ate it. But now, you know, it's nice. It's like Garrett's Popcorn. You know Garrett's mm. Popcorn? That's a, I don't. Well, Garrett's Popcorn is like one of the best popcorn companies ever, and it's from Chicago. It used to be a little store downtown Chicago. Now it's international, and I see all kinds of people going, I love Garrett's. Garrett's is so good. I love Garrett's. <laughs> it was a very Chicago, you know, I'm about to give me some Garrett's Popcorn. Now it's like, oh my God, I love Garrett's. It's so good. <laughs> it's yeah, beautiful. Man. Shout out to Chicago. Chicago, man. Yeah. So... Let's start off talking about one of our interviews. I sent you a link to this, mm -hmm. but we interviewed a Florida rapper named Glock Nine. The dark one? Yes. The very dark skinned one, yes. Yes. And he talked about how... So I know if if, if I fought with a black bear, we're gonna have a black ass baby. So? I ain't with that. Why? I'm already black as fuck. So? I can't. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, this is an interesting thing, you know what I mean? Like, so if you have a baby, you don't want your baby to be the same complexion as you? Mm. Why? This a once in a lifetime thing. What do you mean? Like, this a dark ass shade. They be, hell nah. I can't. I can't have. Because he's, yeah, he said, I'm already black. I don't. That's uh, self-hatred, man. That's like a, um, I mean, he, you know, there's two, there's two different sides. You could actually, he could actually go, you know what? I don't want my babies to be like me because I don't want them to go through the shit I went through being this complexion. That I understand. Um, and then it could just be like, I just hate myself because I'm so dark. And plus, he probably has been made fun of for so long you start to internalize that hatred. You know what I'm saying? You internalize that hatred, and let's just say he got he had a kid, and one of them was dark. He probably treat that kid like shit. I don't know. I'm mean, it 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 happens, man. You got people. It happens in a lot of like, um um, you know, you know, a lot of brown races that 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 worship being lighter. You know what I mean? I could say Latin races, Indian races, some black too. So, and sometimes there'll be kids, they'll have a, a variety of complexions, you know, different types of children. And the dark one will always be treated like shit. Sometimes the dark one is treated like shit. You know, like the Latinos will be like, ooh, moreno, you got a moreno, moreno, moreno. You know what I mean? Or black people will be like, man, that little black ass, little black, little bastard, you know. That kind of shit happens in, in families, man. And it, it's, it takes like, like I'm a dark skinned cat, man, and um, you know, but I guess it. And he is he African, that kid? I don't know. I'm I'm guessing Haitian because he's you know Florida, and there's maybe a lot of he's Haitian, but like Haitians are very proud. I mean, listen, in every in every country, the dark light thing is there. You have lightning skin like night. I'm Nigerian. There's a lot of Nigerians lightening their skin with the, the skin lightener. India is the same way. I have it on my. On my Instagram, where I'm showing the dark and lovely. I'm in Queens, right? In an Indian grocery store. And this is what they're selling. They're selling fair and handsome. Can you believe this shit? Number one, fairness for men. It's like, basically, if you're dark, it's ugly. 
But if you look like that, you're handsome. Ain't that a bitch? Can you believe this shit? But they're doing this shit all around the world. Africa, India, lightening their skin in these dark ass countries. Listen, don't go for this shit. Some of you all look like fucking spotted idiots when you do that shit. You understand? You're going to be looking like Sammy Sosa looking crazy as shit. Looking like a fucking green eyed ghost. You don't want that shit. Basically, you should be proud of who the fuck you are. Being dark is awesome. You know, you know what I mean? There's a lot of beauty in everything, but being dark is a shit. And first of all, without dark people, you wouldn't have no light skin, motherfuckers, man. So don't do this shit. This shit is some bullshit. It's on the shelves like toothpaste. And, and, it, and Indian people are literally going like this. Let me get the light and lovely, please. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're just literally buying it like it's lotion. You know, so in a lot of these countries which are dark, like India, Africa, um, Latin America, that is like a big deal to lighten your skin. Like, look at what Sammy Sosa did to himself. He was that self uh, hate. He had so much hatred for what he looked like. And he looked better dark, but he looks like kind of like an albino gorilla right now. Not to be mean, but that motherfucker looks like a straight up gorilla. Not, I'm not calling him. He looks literally weird as fuck. But that's how much he hated himself that he didn't even want... His, he looks crazy, but he's so hateful of himself that he didn't even want the brown. He don't care how he looks. I just don't want my shit to be brown. You understand? And so this same guy who's, this dude's darker than I am. He's like, he probably hates himself so much and is so embarrassed by it that he doesn't have any pride in it. That, and, and Haitians are very proud people. I'm, thank God that, um, you know, my brothers and sisters, they're fairer than I am. You understand? And yeah, they're fairer than I am, and it's just okay. Wait, so so your parents are, are different. My parents were brown. Yeah, my parents were kind of brown, just brown, dark brown. Not, but my mother always used to say, you know, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. He goes, darker people always they age the best. My mother always, you know, instilled being proud of what I was. You know what I mean? Because I grew up, you know, in Chicago, you got that southern mentality. You see, I had friends that were lighter than me that literally would say, I look better than you. I remember my, a buddy of mine, he said, yeah, I look better than you. I go, how? Because he was light-skinned. He wasn't that great looking. His teeth were fucked up the whole nine. My shit, look at folks, huh? Oh, uh, bah. My shit was tight. Fucking cheekbones, the skin was better, but he was like, I'm better looking than you. If I ever got, if girls ever liked me, it was like, uh, like a big deal. 